All right, so I am setting up. This was my last stage frame. Went from here to here. Now I'm setting up uh, it moving more. So I'm going to use Puppet Warp. And once I set this up, then I will be able to paste it over to my stage. Right, so at this point, I'm going to start the transformation on my creature. I'm going to duplicate my sparkles and then move them down. Down and back onto my creature and maybe rotate them a little bit. And maybe I'll give them a blending mode. So some things you don't need to make multiple layers for are changing the blending mode. That can be a nice way, right? So if I change it to soft light and then maybe up the opacity a little bit, it will give it a slightly different look than it had before. And now, let me see, is my head too much in the same position? Let's tilt the head up a little bit. And each time I puppet warp, it's going to get a little bit softer because it is warping. But I love how you can give instant facelifts. Okay. And now I wanted to change. Let's just move this a little bit. Start transforming my creature. The other thing you don't have to use multiple layers for are what are called layer styles. You double click on the layer. I can start making this guy glow. So I'm going to do it with an outer glow. You can just have fun with these. These work really well with animations. It's kind of how animating in Photoshop was initially designed. You can set a slightly nicer, less toxic looking color. I like to use some noise. Noise. So I'm going to start to have a glow just really slightly on the outside. And these are called layer styles. And then I'm going to have a glow a little bit on the inside. So that's an outer glow. Now I'm going to do a little bit of an inner glow. I'm going to make that inner glow quite big. right? And let's see. Let's steal a color from the moon. But let's take its opacity down. So it's just barely there. Let's see, let's try, let's try pin light. There we go. Maybe sharpen it a little bit. From here to here. Maybe that's too strong. But here's the beauty of it. I like it, so I'm going to use it. But if I feel like it's too strong, I can make another in-between. But let me go through the steps now. So I'm going to move this frame now over to my stage. So what do I do? I go to my topmost visible layer. That's step one on my assets. I hold down Option. While holding down Option, I go to Layer, Merge Visible. By doing that, that makes a new combined layer. To select it all, I go to select all or I hit command A. So command A. Next, I have to copy it all, everything I just selected. So I go to edit, copy, or command C. And then I go to my stage. I make sure I'm on my top most visible layer on my stage. And I go to edit, paste, command V. So now I really like that movement, but I think I need one in between that one and this one. So what I'm going to do is go back to my assets, hit Command D to deselect, and then delete that merged frame. 
And now I'm going to work on the in-between. And this is why you always make duplicates with your assets. I'm going to take those effects and I'm going to move them onto the one underneath. Like that. And then I'm going to dim them. Go to effects, just take their overall opacity. Oh, take the inner glow down in opacity about halfway. Take the outer glow down in opacity. And then I'm going to puppet warp. Edit, puppet warp. Shift him down a little. And this is where squash and squish comes in for animation. Instead of things just moving without any alteration, if you want them to look more lifelike, more dynamic, you kind of squish them when they impact something. So as his foot starts to touch down, because he gets from there to here, right? It needs to squish a little bit. So how can I do that with puppet warp? You set at least two anchors, and then you let it compress as he kind of touches down. I'm going to take the overall opacity down a tiny bit. And then I want to move these guys, little sparkles, just going to have fun with them, different opacity, they kind of dissipate. All right, so this is my in-between. What is it going in between? It is going after this one and before this one. So, how do I merge my layers? Go to my top most visible layer, hold down Option, go to Layer, Merge Visible, Command A to copy it all, or Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, go to my stage, Command V to paste it, and I pasted it in the right place. All right. Then I go back, to my assets, Command D to deselect and delete, and now I can set up my next frame. And this time, I'm going to use this guy, I'm going to move the effects back to it. I'm going to make the effects a little bit stronger, not overall, but individually. And I'm going to adjust the levels and increase the contrast a little bit because it's getting lost. You can always use sharpen, especially around the eye. And if I ever worry, I can always go back to my hero element, right? Make a duplicate, rasterize. Transform this guy. And I think this is the time, because now he's going to be sitting. Oops. So now he's actually sitting down and compressed.
And I'm just going to warp him just a tiny bit, or distort him, just so his head's not touching the corner. But his claw needs to be down where it was. All right. And now I'm going to copy those effects by right-clicking and say Copy Layer Style. Turn that off and paste it onto my new guy. Paste Layer Style. So from this now to this. And I can decide to, to have a few of these things turned on or not. Maybe move them around. So this is my next frame. So what do I do? Go to my topmost layer, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Command A to select it all. Command C to copy it all. Go to my stage, Command V to paste it in. But I want to do it on top of here. There we go, Command V. So now, Let's run an animation test. Frames from layers. Set the timing. I have 13 frames now. 0.3. Play it. Mosquito. Creature. Snaps. Lands. Get a little flap of the wing there. And... I don't like that. I still think the snout's too long there. So I'm going to adjust that frame. So remember, you can always adjust too. I can take that that layer out, but first I got to move all my frames to the trash. And then say, okay, I want all of that, but I just want the snout to be a little bit further back. So deselect, delete. Now let's take that puppet warp. Shrink that head back a little. There we go. That's all it took. So now, just combine those layers again. Topmost visible layer, option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, command V. That's better. Okay, now I am here, really glowing. It's going to really start to glow and then go nuclear. That's what I have in my storyboard anyway. So, this is going to be my major effect. And instead of him moving anymore, I'm just going to play with those layer styles more and more. So deselect, get rid of that layer. Now... really up the inner glow. There's no reason to be subtle, right? The outer glow, just a little bit. And turn all of these on. No, turn them all off. I don't want those anymore. Okay. So it could be just like that, but I want to start affecting the background as well. So I'm going to go very, back to my very background plate, make a duplicate of that, and now start playing with inner glow on that. With an interesting blending mode. Maybe a gradient overlay. See the difference? So it's going to start to lighten as well. And then I'm going to need to do that with my rocks too. But here's a nice trick. 